Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial about how to get your data streaming from Faceware Live Server into a Faceware Live Client plugin, in this case, Live Client for Motion Builder. Now I have an image sequence being tracked here just for demonstration purposes, and I'm using Faceware Live 2.5, but if you're using 2.0, it's almost exactly the same process. So just to get my data streaming, as I'm tracking it, I'm going to click this button up here, and it'll change, and we know it's streaming. So now that we have streaming data, we need to stream it to something, in this case, our Victor Rig in Motion Builder. Now, once you've installed the Faceware Live Client for Motion Builder plugin, you'll see in your devices this Faceware Live device. I'm going to drag that into my scene, and that will give me all these options down here. So I have my server address, which, because I'm using the same computer for streaming from live server and animating in Motion Builder, I just have set as localhost. I have my server port matching the number that I have in live server up here. I need to select my character setup file. If you don't know how to create a character setup file for live client for motion builder, you can see our YouTube page or our knowledge base at support.facewortech.com and there are separate tutorials for that. This is just about streaming the data. So now that I have that in here for the right rig, uh, I'm going to click online. You can see it turns green because it knows that data is being streamed in. You can see the sample rate. And I click live. And now the information from the live server is being streamed into Motion Builder and animating the frig. And that's all there is to it.